Uh, my name is Bill Blythe, I'm the Global Business Development Director at uh, Gresham and uh, this week we are uh, demonstrating and showcasing our Enterprise Data Integrity Platform. I suppose that the exciting elements are twofold at Cybos this year. One is clearly the uh, the noise or the hype around blockchain uh, and we've got quite quite a few views and, and positions on on that technology and the use of probably not blockchain but more what as I would call it distributed ledger technology uh, and of course the regulatory challenges and um, Gresham has a big role to play in I believe in, in both of those initiatives and and helping our customers deal with the ever-changing landscape that, that is that is regulation. For me, there appears to be a lot of various different strands in which people are going off, and, and uh, every every day you see something new in the press or a new bunch of people creating their own kind of private blockchains. Uh, and and even Euroclear, I think, estimated that in the next sort of ten years there'd be something like ten thousand versions of blockchains. Well, for me. That just creates like a massive kind of data integrity and reconciliation and matching problem that, that, that you're still going to need technology like ours to ensure that you have got the accurate accuracy and the completeness and, and those robust checks that you need. Likewise, I'm also just slightly skeptical of the, how long it will take the industry to really agree on some of the process flows now and there is no doubt that the whole distributed ledger technology that the, the potential is massive but to be able for all of the banks to agree on certain cancel and amend processes I mean it's taken 20 years to get to where we are today I think yet yet seems to be you know, there's a big still question mark for me on that front The, the growing need to prove integrity has never been uh, greater. Um, there is, all across the industry, there is senior individuals within the firms are being held accountable for their for their actions. And you, know, you get this stuff wrong now, you, you go to pro, you go to jail or, or or you lose your house. And, and that that's a trend that is going to push that kind of front to back wrecks. Also, you know the, the evidence. Or, or the growing need to, to evidence control it is becoming um, even more as regulators want to see you know, external proof and substantiation that, that these checks and balances are in place. Um, there's also, um, I just, I think, you know, the days of silo based reporting, so the front office is going to report in one way or the back office in another, are gone because from a, uh, a risk aggregation perspective, you, you can't operate like that. Quite simply, regulation. I believe you know if you look at some of the initiatives around BCS 239, MIFID, and, uh, and, and, and MIFIR, is people need to look holistically across their operations. You know, the regulators want to come in and say, okay, well, what's my uh, what's my exposure to BlackRock today across all of my legal entities? And without that front to back control, without that visibility, it, it, those th th those regulatory requirements will not be able to be fulfilled so uh, that's really what's driving that. Well everything becomes more complicated you know you've got you're, you're going from 23 odd fields to up to you know high 60s 70s there is everything becomes you know on the buy side in terms of increased uh, obligations potentially around delegated reporting the complexity is increasing the the asset classes which need to be reported and and a lot of the institutions that we talk to are still not ready you know, uh, you've only got to look at some of the transaction reporting fines that have been delivered under MIFID 1 to, to see that you know, institutions struggle with this today and it's going to get a lot worse as, as the proliferation of those, those, those regulatory requirements get worse. Our Clarity Transaction Control solution uh, has sp specific transaction and, and trade reporting um, functionality built into it for various different relations. But if you focus on MIFID, we are providing all of the um, 
the front to back reconciliation that we talked about earlier, but but also the validation and uh, on on the actual required fields that need to be transmitted to the arm. So not only are we doing we're performing the recs, but we're also actually performing the validation for each of uh, each of the fields, the way it's reported, um, and, and what we want to emphasise. Um, in our solution is that we want to actually so kind of close the loop of the flow so whether that's coming from the trade capture system you know how do you prove the integrity between trade capture books and records what you actually sent to the arm and what actually gets comes back via the regulator we want to be able to provide that holistic control so that when the regulators do come in you can absolutely evidence that you have full control front to back and CTC we believe is one of the only solutions that can do that particularly given the scalable nature of some of the requirements Well, I think blockchain is, de you know, de definitely, well, obviously, I mean, everyone's talking about it. It's definitely one to watch. Um, I feel that uh, there is going to be probably, again, some advances in, in, in the regulatory space as well as, as that kind of improves. And dare I say it, MIFID 3 is probably not that far around the corner. So, um, but I think, yeah, the, the blockchain is the biggest one to, to potentially disrupt things, I think. And, of course, sorry, you was going to say, so, no, no, but... Uh, uh, well, and I think the emergence of a lot of the fintech companies that, that are offering disruptive new platforms um, is interesting.